It is back on for thousands of people, particularly in northeast Portland, after a tree fell right onto a power line. Our Valina Jones is live tonight with more on how those neighbors had to make do. Valina? Well, that's right, Jennifer. By 9.30 tonight, most homes had power restored back in northeast Portland. Now, this is five hours after everything went dark. It wasn't the greatest night to have a power outage. That's because most people we talked to say they were setting up for their holiday parties. Piercing headlights and flickering candles were the only thing illuminating this northeast Portland neighborhood. We've been preparing all afternoon, and right about 5 o'clock, a big gust of wind came, and... No power. Paula Bloomingdahl manages the Portland White House. Welcome to the White House. Right. It's black this evening. She was preparing to welcome nearly 70 guests for a holiday dinner. We're serving filet mignon and salmon. When everything went dark, instantly turning the shindig into a romantic candlelight dinner. I think we all just sat down for a minute and just went, okay. Is it coming back on or not? What do we do? Uh, and then we all regrouped in about five minutes. We said, okay, you get candles, you find the tea lights. They were just one of more than 3,400 homes without power. After Pacific Power says high winds took out trees and power lines. And we're going to have the party, so come electricity or not. Down the street, Phil Rush kept his party lit with flashlights, candles, cell phones, and even some festivals of wardrobe, bringing it back to a simpler time. It is a what we call a period party now. The house was built in 1903. It was not originally with electricity. It had gas and candles, so kind of we're stepping back in time here. Even in darkness, they aren't letting anything dim their light. So far, pretty good. We're enjoying it and trying to keep the Christmas spirit going and enjoying ourselves. Now, despite those down trees, there were no injuries reported. And as far as those people celebrating the holidays, they took it all in good fun. And I'm sure that they are very excited that the power has been restored back here tonight, Jennifer. What a cute story. I love how people made the most of it, though. I would have been the person who was <laughs> kind right. of freaking out. You know, <laughs> what are we going to do? But boy, they took it in stride.